Where do I begin? Where do I begin? So, I recently got a uh, community strike for my Moo Moo suicide video. Now, I didn't get it for the reason that you may probably think. I didn't upload it to any kid's video or anything like that. No, I actually uploaded the video out of a good deed because I was trying to show parents that, hey, this video actually exists. Make sure you see what it is so that way when you look at it, when you watch your kids' videos, that you immediately recognize the the image so you can get your kids to stop watching it but sometimes when you do a good deed you gotta take a bullet so i got a strike for it but the thing is i kind of knew once i uploaded the video that it was gonna get taken down i just had that feeling like but you know it was up for four days like oh they're gonna take it down anytime soon but i feel in my gut like as long as one parent was able to see the video and immediately recognize it and help their kid from not seeing it then i feel like maybe maybe i can bite the bullet maybe that's one good deed but you know i was showing parents like trying to educate people like hey make sure you don't watch this video because it's a suicide challenge video but someone like logan paul can go to japan the suicide forest and actually show a dead body of uh, someone that just committed suicide but just blur out their face that's okay but it's not okay to try to warn people about a video. So yeah, I do kind of have a problem with it. I try to appeal to YouTube. I try to tell them, hey, I actually did this because I want parents to know and I want people to know that this video actually exists. It's not a hoax. But it got rejected. Now, this is the first time in my life where I've ever tried to appeal anything. I was just, you know, trying to be nice. I was trying to do the right thing. But sometimes doing the right thing means you got to bite the bullet. So I can't really complain too much because this is YouTube. This is their uh their thing this is their corporation this is what they do you know i'm just one of the people that happen to be on it so they can make the rules anytime they want but at the same time i do kind of see the irony that they do favor uh bigger youtube channels that have more subscribers than me or more views which is unfair but there's nothing i can do about it but at the same time i, I do kind of see the little bias because my channel is a small channel. It doesn't get that much views. But, you know, when I try to do the right thing, I get in trouble. But when Logan Paul does something stupid, like go out to a suicide forest and show people a dead body, and he's all giddy about it, that's okay. He doesn't get demonetized. Whatever. That's just life. Life is hard. Life is unfair, you know. You're going to run into many challenges in life where life is just unfair. And... Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. But like I said, I knew when I uploaded the video it was going to get taken down. But I didn't really expect it to get a community strike. And I kind of find that odd. And this new, uh, the, and it was more of a warning, but I'm still demonetized for 90 days. Which is unfair, but at the same time, I do make more money at my actual job. So getting demonetized for a couple months, it's okay. But at the same time, it is unfair. So... To me, what a warning is, what a warning is to me, because I said it gave me a community warning and don't give me a community strike yet. But to me, a warning might as well be a strike, because I am still demonetized for about 90 days. So, to me, what a warning is, like, when someone does something wrong, I'll let you off with a warning, don't do it again. But on YouTube, when you get a warning, you're basically punished. You can't live stream, uh, do a super chat, or you can't make any money. Now, this is a problem for a lot of reasons. I feel like when they give you a warning or a strike, it should be like, okay, this is your warning. Uh, we're not going to demonetize you or anything like that, but if you do it again, then you'll get demonetized and you will disable some of your features for about 90 days. To me, that makes more sense because, you know, YouTube does acknowledge that people will make mistakes sometimes. So, oh, we, we know you make mistakes, so we'll just demonetize you for 90 days. No big deal. But shouldn't that be like the second warning? And the, the third strike should be like, okay, you're out. No more YouTube for you. That should be, like, what the thing is, but it's not, which is kind of weird. So, like I said, I make more money at my actual job, and it's no big deal. But at the same time, it is kind of unfair that I do get me demonetized for a couple months. But, at the same time, I kind of knew they were going to take it down, just didn't really expect this. But also, at the same time, uh, I felt like if I can get one parent to recognize this video and to help prevent their kids from watching... Um, that child's video because they see that that moo moo thing is on it then that's okay then i can bite the bullet i'm fine with that it, it's unfair it's an unfair world but whatever and for those people that are calling this a hoax uh, 
guys, yeah, we know that Momo and Mumu is not a real person. We know that. But this whole thing is not a hoax. People have actually been taking children's videos, putting uh, the Mumu suicide video into the clip and uploading it to YouTube. Parents all over the internet have been complaining about it. Um, parents have actually showed video of their kid doing that. So I don't know where we're getting this idea that this is a hoax. It's not a hoax. People are actually doing it. They're actually putting children's suicide video uh children's videos and putting the suicide challenge in this video and it's fucking sickening i have no idea where you're getting this idea that's a hoax yeah and for those people saying that this video is from guff dump yes this video is from guff dump that doesn't matter where this video originated from what matters is that they're putting it in children's videos and for people believing the, for some reason people believe that people wouldn't do that but I don't know if you've ever been around the block or you just, you've just you ever been in the army or been around the world to travel. There are some sick motherfuckers in this world that they don't give a shit. They will do this to children. They don't give a shit. I don't know what planet you live on or where you think everyone's so hunky-dory that no one would ever harm anyone because that's some of the comments I got in my last video. No, there are some sick motherfuckers out there that will do this to kids. Yes, Moo Moo is not a real person. Yes, it is a meme. And yes, they are still putting it in children's videos. And people are saying, no, it's not a, it's a hoax because the video exists on Guff Dump, whatever. Well, that's not the point. That doesn't make it a hoax. What is the point is that they are still putting it in children's videos. And that's why parents need to be warned about it, right? So I would show you the clip of what I'm talking about for anyone that's new. But like I said, I got a community strike on my last video, so I'm not really willing to do that again. I learned my lesson the first time. But at the same time, I still feel like this whole thing's unfair. Like I said, it's not a hoax. Peep, there are some sick motherfuckers that are actually doing it. You can go on YouTube and find parents talking about it and showing clips of the video. But whatever, you can live in your own bubble. I'm not trying to attack anybody, but sometimes a simple Google search would be great. And for those people saying like, well, I, I can't find the video on YouTube. That's why I believe it's a hoax. Okay, the reason why you can't find it on YouTube because YouTube has been taking it down. I'm literal proof that they have been doing that. I am literal proof. I uploaded the video to warn parents about this video and it got taken down. It got taken down in like four days. That's why you haven't been finding this video. And you probably won't be finding this video anytime soon, especially on YouTube. So, no, it's not a hoax. Yes, I got a community strike. It's a little annoying, but I kind of knew it was going to happen. I didn't, no, actually, I didn't expect the community strike. I expected the video to get taken down. Do I think the strike is unfair? Yeah, because I was trying to help parents to help educate them that this is what the video looks like. So make sure you watch the video of what your kid's watching to avoid it and get them to stop watching the video if you see the challenge anywhere. Because you can use your finger on YouTube. You can scroll through the video to see if you see any images. Whatever. I was trying to do a good deed, but sometimes doing a good deed will cost you something. And, uh, well, I guess I'll bite the bullet. If I can... If... If... Me uploading that video even helps one child from seeing that video, then I felt like I've done a good deed. If I, if me uploading that video helps some parents to realize that this video may exist so they can scroll through the video to make sure that it's not there, then I'm all for it. I'm all for it. And, you know, what I kind of find contradicting, though, is that uh, advertisers have... Uh, there was a recent pedophilia thing that happened on YouTube that's been exposed and some advertisers have pulled away. But... I've heard no advertisers pulling away from this Moo Moo challenge. And that's where I'm getting this theory that maybe that's why I got demonetized because they're trying to prevent people from actually uploading this video, which I can totally understand. But to me, like I said, a warning is a warning. You should warn people about it before you demonetize it. That's just my opinion, but it's your company. That's their company. They can do what they want. So that's why I do see that's a little unfair. So, like I said, I see the contradiction that uh, advertisers don't care if they're suicide videos for children, they just care about everything else. Like, uh, they pulled away from, because of the whole pedophilia ring, but so far it's proven that, uh, that Matt Watson guy that exposed the whole thing, he actually turned out to be kind of a creepy dude on himself, that, uh, some of the videos that he's shown, yeah, there are some videos out there that do exploit children, but some of these videos are also just normal videos of kids playing, like, there's nothing wrong with the video, but if you go down to the bottom... Now, the comment section, that you can see some weird motherfuckers. So what I think YouTube should do, what I think they should do, is actually see people, uh, go on people's comments and see comments that they, they have made on certain videos and then ban that person. They turn out to be kind of a creep. It's, and also, uh, I do agree with the fact that uh, YouTube is going after kids' videos to make sure that none of them are doing anything to put children in danger or sexualize them in any, any way, I, that I can stand behind, that. 
But there are some videos out there that they were just normal videos where these pedos are going on and they're just making weird comments, which is, you know, that should be a red flag. Like, if you see anyone making those type of comments on YouTube, you sh they should be kicked off. This is not, this should not be the community for that. This should not. But like I said, I find it a little contradicting that they're able to pull away from this pedophilia thing, but half of those videos are not even true. Half those videos are just videos of kids playing or doing whatever. It, but there are videos out there that do exploit children. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that, but they, advertisers will still not pull away from the Moo Moo Suicide Challenge. But at the same time, it's probably because YouTube has jumped on that shit real quick. Because YouTube probably knows that if anyone sees that video, any child sees that video, and if a child gets harmed, that, that YouTube may be legally liable. So that I can completely understand. Well, like I said, what I don't understand is how I'm getting a community strike for 90 days instead of being let off with the warning. This, this is the second time I've gotten a warning on YouTube. Uh, they say it's not a community strike, but it basically is a strike. To me, that's... <laughs> that's basically a strike for me so because i still can't make money for about 90 days so there's that i'm living proof that the video exists and that the reason why you can't find it that they take it down and like i said there's a little bit of contradiction when it comes to advertisers pulling away but i can agree with both spectrums that yeah we need to go after the pedophilia ring but we also need to kind of kind of go after this suicide video uh, ring like if you see anyone uploading any children's videos with this Moo Moo clip in it, that video should be demonetized immediately. But I didn't do that. I was trying to make a video to warn people. So at least YouTube is doing something about it. At least they're going after the pedophilia ring. At least they're going after the YouTube uh, suicide challenges. But at the same time, what's the downside is people like me who are trying to do the right thing to warn people about it, I get demonetized. And some of the videos of like um, kids playing with toys that those videos may be in danger of being demonetized because for what's happening so far, what it seems like is YouTube is going to go after every single video that even has a child in it for whatever reason. It doesn't matter what reason it is, but it seems like they will demonetize the video for whatever reason. It doesn't matter if it's not pedophilia or not. If it has a child, that it could be against their community guidelines and they could either strike that video or demonetize it or until there's not a child doing that because the reason why I'm saying that because there's a there's a couple of videos on YouTube of uh, there's a couple of kids that they review toys on YouTube and the reason why they do that because there's kids all around the world that they don't have access to these type of toys and they go on YouTube because like they really want that toy they want to see what that toy is so there's a lot of YouTubers out there that are especially kids that review toys and I think if you, YouTube goes after those kids that all they're doing is reviewing toys, and I think that is a little unfair. But at the same time, YouTube does have this guideline. I think you have to be at least 13 years or older before you can upload any videos. So I don't see how these kids are uploading videos. But at the same time, it's probably the parents actually uploading the video. They just put their kid in it. So it's whatever. Is it unfair to me? Yeah, it is unfair. But there's nothing I can do about it. I was demonetized, but I was trying to do the right thing. And yeah, there is a little bit of contradiction, like I said, with the whole pedophilia thing and the whole uh, suicide challenge thing and children's videos, but what can you do? It's the world we live in. Life is unfair. You just got to deal with it. But I am, I am glad that YouTube has taken the necessary steps to do something about it. But like I said earlier, if I at least help one parent to see this video, to see the Moo Moo Suicide video, and if I helped at least one child then that's the bullet I can take. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like or dislike my channel. Don't forget to call me an idiot in the comments or say something nice to me. We can be friends. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out.